we do. Those of you who are new to Go uh, might not know what the difference is. And long story short, um, a slice is a layer of abstraction on top of an array that allows you to uh, point to any of the things in there and grab ranges from it. It, it contains the length and all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's really nice because you can throw around slices all over without any without any cost because they they weigh nothing. They're just pointers to these to these abstractions on top of the array. Uh, but you can do arrays directly. Recently, I was um, reminded that you can use dot 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 to 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 indicate the array. But the problem with uh, using arrays is if you have a variable length array, it makes it really hard. Um, to, from what I've done in the past, and this is what I'm about to test uh, to to pass around that array as as um, something of value uh, to a parameter um, and you know in a strict typing language the the actual length of the array uh, is a part of the type so that's why a slice gets passed around instead of an array because it would always have to be an array of like you know 52 elements uh, and because the size of the array varies uh, depending on how it's generated and stuff um, there's, there's a number of things I can do there I could possibly like hard code that number but it makes it hard to write an interface um, because the interface, obviously, you can't say this takes uh, an array of a certain size. Um, and that's what I'm about to explore. I want to see if you can actually write an array, an interface, uh, you know, definition that has an array in it with a variable length uh, using the dot, dot, dot. So I don't know. If somebody knows, you can tell me straight up. Uh, and, you know, tell me, tell me, tell me I'm dumb because I didn't know. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and test it. So... Uh, I'm just going to use the uh, regular old main here, main not go. I'll save this, and I'm going to start making. Uh, and actually, I'll do it up here with var. So we'll do var. Um, so so there's a couple of ways to do this. So the the way I've, I've heard about it is like, uh, I'll do names equals, and this is the notation I just encountered, uh, which I'm not I don't commonly use. So this is an array of strings. We'll say. And then I can put a bunch of strings in here. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Foo. How about foo bar? Should we do that? Foo bar. Uh, bar, etc. Anyway. All right. So now that what is that? Right. So um, the best way for us to look up what the type is is, is to use uh, the type switch uh, from that's built into Go. So you can there's other ways to do this, but um, this is probably the easiest. I mean, it's the most conventional. So I'm going to say uh, equals m dot uh, type, and we'll say that uh, thing is uh, defined as an interface, an empty interface, which is different than an interface. It's a kind of a no type thing. Interface uh, empty interfaces allow you to deal with the type at where it's used and pass it around without uh, getting, you know, messed up with uh, uh, with everything else uh, getting in the way with type, you know, types. So it's kind of a way to to cheat all the strict typing if you want to for some purpose. It allows it to be sort of Python esque in that sense. Uh, people love them and hate them, but they're not generics, so it's important you know that. But uh, and so anyway, we're going to go ahead and just do an fmt printf. Uh, and just to get the type here, so there's actually um, a a type thing here. Um, what that is, is uh, capital, actually we'll do the value, and then we'll do um, the actual capital T, which is the type. And we'll pass the same value. And the V is, uh, what this does is that when you use a, the dot .type, um, uh, I don't even know what to call that. It's an assertion, I guess. Uh, in a switch, it was a very unique situation. It only can exist within a type, within a switch. Uh, it will actually assign the value of M to V having been typecast as whatever type it is. So if it's an interface, it will it will suddenly gain its um, its uh, its proper type and carry it with it so you don't have to do assertions the whole time anytime you try to use it or type yeah type assertions so uh that is it let's go ahead and, and run the thing temp go array test no what did i do what did i say array what did i call the fucking thing 
Agores. Okay. I thought I had a name for that. Go arrays. All right. So uh, go run. Is Cora running? No. I had one before. It's not in my domain to go. Um, so nil, nil. That's interesting. So, oh, I didn't pass it. So let's do this. Let's do uh, var, let's see, thing equals name. And that will help us. Um, the US will now officially be banning TikTok. Uh, yeah, good luck for that. I, <laughs> US is full of shit. It's like China owns us anyway. Just just get over it. Just let our, our new overlords take over. Yeah, yeah. I think it's so funny is it's all this China fear, and it's like if you think for a second that China doesn't own America already, <laughs> you're being naive. So much documented case evidence for that. Um, so it's funny. Just the other day, we were looking at my my logs of all the people that are trying to hack Skillsec.sh. There was like Russia, and there was China. All the IPs from Russia and China. Uh, and, and it was like one IP, and guess where it was from? Kansas. <laughs> Kansas. Kansas is trying to hack Skillstack.sh. And I'm like, that's not Kansas. That's like a Mr. Robot scenario. <laughs> right? Kansas, that person in Kansas has been taken over by, by China or Russia or something. Yeah, so if you, if you ever actually want a sense of how often you're getting hacked, China blocked on your SSH port. Exactly. So anyway, that's a fun side. That's not what this is about. But anybody who's watching this who doesn't know, we, we talk about cybersecurity a lot on the channel. So uh, by the way, Go is a fantastic cybersecurity language. It's one of the fastest growing ones in the cybersecurity realm. It's just going to outpace Python here very easily. All right. So you see here when I ran it, I have um, we have the, 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 you know, the stringified representation of uh of the thing, which was, you know, just a, uh, an array. Uh, and then we have what kind it is. And you can see here that the kind is an array that is too long, too long. So this is where things get interesting because why? Because watch this. And this is, this is what I'm actually confirming. I'm actually pretty sure I know it's going to happen, but I wanted to confirm it. So I don't depend on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the moral of the story is going to be use slices for everything. Uh, and don't use this, even though it, it feels like it's a lot faster. Uh, because watch, I don't, I think I can do this now. Obviously I can do, a, uh, I can do a two array, a, a, a two, um, a two element string array. I mean, this will definitely work. Right. Um, and I can do, you know, I guess I could fall through on this. Um, why don't you like my fall through? Oh, cause it's a default. Oh, cause I can't do it in types. We got that. You can't do the fall through with type, with type assertions. Hey, no, I really don't. And I don't feel like banning you right now. This is where I need an admin to ban it. Uh, I don't want to become famous because you have to sell your soul and and then you can make documentaries about all the mistakes you made when you got famous and made all that money even though you took your kids off of the very system you built for everybody else and now civil war is the immediate impending result. So no, I don't want to be famous. All right, um... I want people to learn. That's what I want. And I want our world to be a better place, like legitimately a better place where people talk to each other without being inflamed into wild rage and wanting to punch this person without even talking to the human being because they project all the things they think that they think. All right. Print F. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. I don't give a shit. It's just a test. Uh, I'll give it a, Aha. How about that? <laughs> Because why not? So, aha, see that? Okay, so that matched it. But watch what won't match. As soon as I put another thing in here, something, I'll put like something. Fuck. All right. Now what? What's it going to do? You probably guessed it, right? There's no more aha because case two did not match. Well, you know, well, hey, I put triple dot here, so this is what I'm testing. This is what I'm hoping for, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be disappointed. But I'm going to try it anyway. All right? If this works, then my aha will match up here. It's like, 
I'm gonna this is gonna be an oh my omg it's gonna be an omg all right so we'll, we're gonna omg this uh, this is bothering me so we'll do that okay um oh look oh looky here it can't have both of them my vetter is already telling me it's not happy invalid use of dot 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 well fuck you <laughs> so uh, the test has become con is concluded the results of the test are this uh thou shalt use slices uh instead of this right because if i use a slice i can pass it around it has a name and everything uh, and that's what the way to do that would be this right so that the, when you use a slice it, it it creates both the array underneath that can be modified that can change size and shrink and everything uh but that has this abstraction ism on top of it that that allows you to look at its length with no cost and and you can actually even completely reorder a slice without changing the slice without making a new one because all you're reordering is is the the references to all the stuff underlying which is super powerful in terms of um when you're when you're dealing with this kind of thing it's actually just another another testament to the brilliance of the designers of go um i just really is the idea that this idea of a slice it's a completely new in invention, as far as I'm concerned, for for dealing with uh, what would otherwise be problematic arrays and and actually pushing memory around and dealing with pointers. Um, so that's the moral. We're going to use a slice. So as soon as we use a slice, and of course this isn't going to match, but this will, right? This one will fail, and um, this will say, "Hey, I got a string," and and it'll do it. Now watch if I if I change the size of the string, uh, I mean of the array. The slice, I should say, it will do the right thing. All right, and so this has been uh, a little bit of a reminder about why I can't use dot dot dot. Unfortunately, I, I thought for a second because here's the thing: um, the thing that I'm making uh, has a very finite size, but I still have to make it a slice because of this because when I'm switching on type and stuff like that uh, I, I I would have to specifically hard code the length of the array in my type switches uh, elsewhere now I don't know I mean I could I'm trying to think briefly about a generic scenario if generics would have helped with this kind of thing I suspect not uh, but but this is definitely the conclusion the conclusion is just use a slice uh, you you might think it's 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 you know wasted overhead and stuff, but it's it's not it's not that much, and it, it buys you the ability to to um, to type switch on on a, on a sl on the slice instead of the specific array with the specific length. All right, um, so there you go. I'm going to go ahead and close the stream. When I come back, I'm going to be back to uh, implementing this uh, by fleshing out the grammar interface of the Pagan uh, Golang reference implementation.